divine truth frequently ask questions. Jesus, Mary and others provide answers to questions that are frequently asked by members of the media and public. The subject of this session is spirits. This is session two. How much of the world's suffering is related to spirit influence? Well, we've got to be careful with this question because um, there is a tendency with people once they learn about spirit influence to blame the spirits for their own suffering. The reality, though, is quite different. All suffering comes from our own avoidance of love in some way. So, so all suffering begins from our own life, from our own perspective, from our own choices. And then because we make those particular choices, we attract through the law, we attract a lot of other people who support those choices. Now, if in those attractions we attract spirits who support our choices or, or use our, our choices, then we can't really say that they're doing that on their own. We're, we are giving them the ability to do it. Mm -hmm. Because of this, we could say that all suffering on the planet starts with our own choice to act out of harmony with love. Now, that's our own choice to act out of harmony with love of God, with love of ourselves, with love of our neighbour, with love of children and love of the environment. Mm -hmm. That's where all of our own pain and suffering begins. But once we make that negative choice, our pain and suffering can be exacerbated by what we attract. And that is the law. We will attract the things that we support in our own unloving condition. And as a result of that, we attract spirits who will support our own unloving condition, mm -hmm. which further degrade our own pain and suffering. So if we understand that our own pain and suffering begins with our own choice, then we will stop seeing it as, some, as the spirits, as someone to blame. However, there is so much pain and suffering that is caused through what we attract bearing in mind, of course, that we're attracting it because of our condition. But because we set up this condition and we go along with this condition, a lot of times unwittingly, a lot of times without knowledge, mm -hmm. without any scientific knowledge or any, any accurate spiritual knowledge, we are setting up these systems that create more attractions of suffering. And there are a large number, many billions of spirits in the spirit world who wish to cause us more pain and suffering. Mm -hmm. So, of course, you could say that the total cause of pain and suffering on the planet is a mixture of the 7 billion or so people on the planet mostly choosing to do things that are out of harmony with the way God would do them, out of harmony with God's love, mm -hmm. that causing an attraction of another 20 or 30 billion spirits who are influencing the earth and influencing us to, and that increases the pain and suffering as a result of the choice that we made. And that's the primary cause of pain and suffering. So spirits are very much responsible for a lot of pain and suffering on the planet, but they couldn't do so without having the vehicle to do it. Mm -hmm. And we do choose to become the vehicle by our own denial of our own pain and suffering and our own denial of our own emotional and soul-based condition in love. That's where we make the choice. So given that we are, like collectively on the planet, the majority of us are making that choice, aren't, mm -hmm. they, aren't we? Yep. So given that we are yep. actually enabling this kind of influence. We are yeah. enabling it. And not only enabling it, almost wanting it. Yeah. Like in many cases, my, a lot of people... So for example, I've brought up examples before, but if I give you some examples, a, a man who's looking for constant sexual conquests wants a spirit to help him find the women who he could have sexual relations with. Mm -hmm. He wants that. Mm -hmm. He desperately, in many cases, wants that. So, of course, he's going to get a line-up of spirits with him trying to help him have sexual conquests. Yeah. And he can't then say that it's all the spirit's fault. No. Because he desperately wanted that to happen in the first place. Yeah. It's, and this is what we've got to consider, is that a lot of the time, even though we, don't, we think we don't want it, we do. And we're not honest with ourselves frequently and as a result we get what we want mm. but it comes along with pain and suffering mm. sorry 
Go ahead. Yeah. I was just thinking that um, I suppose this is a main problem that most of us face is that we don't understand that whenever we break God's laws, which are all based around love, there are negative consequences for breaking them. And the negative consequences are all pain and suffering. Whenever we desire to live in harmony with God's laws, and we do so, there are no negative consequences whatsoever. And in fact, there are positive consequences for doing so. And we on this planet have yet to learn that. Mm -hmm. It's one of the basic principles that we've yet to really learn as a society and, and, and in the different cultures of the earth. We believe that we should be able to get away with unloving behaviour and still have a good life. That's what we believe. Mm. And it's not possible in God's universe mm. to get away with loving behaviour and have a good life. Yeah. It's just not possible. And even if we think it's possible on earth, wait till you get to the spirit world. You'll find it's definitely not possible. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah, but uh, back to the question I was going to ask earlier. Sure. Given that we are enabling all of this influence, yeah. which is related to our suffering, what spheres are we, like, there's a lot of suffering on the planet at the moment in lots of different spheres. There's poverty, there's disease, there's um, political tyranny, there's genocide, there's uh, environmental concerns, there's, there's all kinds of issues. Even bigger than that, there's intergender rivalry which causes huge amounts of damage on the planet. There's a lot of our social issues are even bigger than our political issues. I agree. Mm. So how, are spirits involved in all of those things? Of course. Okay. Of course, every single one of those things, there are spirits involved, positively and negatively. One spirit's trying to influence certain things positively and other spirits trying to influence them negatively. Mm. And our openness to which one we will receive the influence from is completely dependent on how strongly we desire to love and to use our will in harmony with love even if we're attacked, even in the face of violence. Mm. That, will depend, that will, to a great extent, determine our future. Mm. 